Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the Shades of Sage collection from Paint and Polish. Paint and Polish does these really great collections where they're all kind of the same color but different variations of that color and I really really like them. This is the Sage version. So these are available right now. I will link the Paint and Polish website down below. I also have a coupon code for Paint and Polish that I always forget about. So I will pin a comment and put that in the description box as well. I want to say it's 10% off but I'll have to look it up just to be sure. I'll put a little annotation with it somewhere around here as well. So five polishes here all together and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Stamped in Sage and this is described as a one coat sage green cream. So this one is totally opaque on that first coat. I can even like go back over it and smooth it out and stuff without having to worry about creating any streaks. And it's also not thick at all, which is really nice for a one coat cream polish to not be thick. You will definitely want top coat. This will dry a bit dull and with when you only have one coat of a cream polish on, it tends to dry and show like every single flaw in your nails. So you'll definitely want top coat to smooth that out as well. Um, when you only do one coat of a cream polish, it just it always looks a little rough when it's fully dry unless you put top coat on it. So that is one coat of Stamped in Sage. The next polish is called Herb Your Enthusiasm, and this is described as a creamy sage hollow with added crushed gold flakies. So this one is a little bit sheer on that first coat. I really, really like the gold flakies in here. I have kind of an issue with like iridescent flakies and things being added into polishes. I have seen quite a few polishes that have this really nice contrasting shimmer, and then they put iridescent flakies in them, and it just it breaks it up, and I don't like it. <laughs> That's just a preference thing. And I was kind of expecting to feel the same way about the gold flakies in this one, and I don't. I love them. And good formula on this one as well. So this one does build up really well on that second coat. I want to, yeah, there it is. <laughs> I accidentally swiped that big giant gold flaky off and I wanted it back. This looks pretty good for me in two coats. You might end up needing three depending on your application, but I don't think it's super likely. And you might get the slightest amount of texture out of those flakies, but they're not going to need to be scrubbed off of the nail or anything. So that is two coats of Herb Your Enthusiasm. The next polish is called Sage Advice, and this is described as a nude holographic micro glitter mix in a sage curly base. So this one is sheer on the first coat, and you can see a decent amount of that glitter. I'm trying to thin this coat out a little bit. I had way too much polish on my brush and a good formula on this one as well. So this one does start to build up on that second coat, but I can still see my nail line pretty clear. This also will dry textured because it is glitter. It's a really fine glitter, so you should only need, mm, I guess I can't promise that, one coat of top coat if you're using something thick, like Sesh Feet or KB Shimmer Clearly on Top or Glisten and Glow HK Girl, those kind of top coats. But if you use something thinner, you might end up needing two to smooth that glitter out. So this one does cover completely in three coats. That nail line that I did have showing after the second coat became a little more obvious after the second coat fully dried. And I do feel like I get a little bit better of a color out of the third coat as well. So that is three coats of Sage Advice. The next polish is called You Grow Girl and this is orange and pink holographic glitters in a sage curly base. So this one is a bit sheer on the first coat but there is a good amount of glitter coming out. Good formula on this one as well. There is glitter in here, so it is going to end up drying textured, and that glitter is going to be more difficult to remove. And this one does start to build up on that second coat. Very close to being opaque for me, but I just have a little bit of nail line showing. And I think that's probably going to get a little more obvious after it's fully dry, so I'll do a third coat. The base color is building up really nicely. Looking at this closely, I don't think all of my nails needed that third coat, so depending on your application, you might get away with two. But I do think I like the way the base color looks a little bit more opaque with that third coat. And I also feel like this dries a little bit darker than it applies. So that is three coats of You Grow Girl. And the last polish is called Don't Stop Believing, and this is described as pink, gold, and green color shifting flakies in a sage curly base. So this one is also a bit sheer on that first coat. Tons of flakies though, and a good formula on this one. Those flakies will not behave like a glitter, so they won't dry. Well, you might have a, like a little bit of texture, but not 
a grittiness, if that makes sense, and they won't be difficult to remove. So this one, it does start to build up on that second coat. I still have a little bit of nail line that I want to cover up. It's very minor right now, but I do expect it to be a little bit worse once this coat is fully dry. But you could easily get away with two here, just depending on your application and your preference. So this one does cover completely in three coats. I'm, I'm assuming that this has the same curly base as the last polish, which dried a little bit darker than it applied. Though with these flakies that are in here, I feel like it's a little less noticeable. So that is three coats of Don't Stop Believing. So I have two favorites from this collection. I really, really like You Glow Girl. That pink and orange glitter mixed into that sage colored base is just such an unusual combination and not something that I would think would look good if it was described to me, but looking at it, I really, really like it. And then I also really like Herb Your Enthusiasm because of the addition of those gold flakes in there. Again, hearing this polish described, I would think that that was something that I wouldn't care for, but I really, really like how it turned out. So that is the Painted Polish Shades of Sage collection. Again, those are available right now, so I will link the Painted Polish website down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.